What is going on everybody? My name is Ryan and welcome back to the Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke and we are finally back. It's been a long weekend. I actually haven't been playing the game uh, because I've been taking a little bit of time off um, going back to work uh, and hanging out with the Indianapolis Kingsmen. So here we are. We are back at the hotel right where we left off and I am super excited to be back. I'm adjusting my mic in real time and I believe we need to go into the hotel. And indeed, we do have Marnie here. Let's see what she has to say. She says, uh, challenge it, Ryan, right? Out giving it your all even this late, huh? Hey, help with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. So it does look like we do get to battle her. And Team Yell is in the back supporting her. So big whammy right off the start against Pokemon trainer Marnie. And it looks like she's got three Pokemon. She's going to lead off with Krogunk. We've got Lamp in the front, so maybe not the most favorable of matchups right off the rip. Uh, I'm going to try and Thunder Wave and see what happens. And we do connect with it, so we are faster than it. Uh, and hope for the full para. They're going to use Revenge. Um, which does a pretty good chunk. Uh, so I'm going to swamp out. I think I'm going to go into Scorchungus here. Uh, so that way I know that we're faster. Hoping for the full para. They're going to hit the revenge. They connect with it. Uh, does a, a little bit of a chunk there. About 25% of our health. Um, but we do connect with that. We get a speed boost and hoping for a para. They actually get a, a revenge off again. We're faster, so I'm comfortable going with this. But, oh man, that was way too close. We're gonna get another speed rise. But, whew, that got way too close. They're gonna send out Scraggy, um, which could be a pain for us. I'm gonna heal up. Should get us just about full HP. Minus five. Uh, they're going to headbutt. Uh, and I think my play here is going to a double kick. Um, I know I should be faster. Indeed, I am. And that is super effective. So that was a crit. So maybe we got to hope for another crit here. Um, but we don't get it. Hit two times. Hopefully they go for another headbutt. They do. And... This uh, double kick here should seal the deal on Scraggy. Indeed it does. That got a little scary with the Krogunk, but we handle Scraggy pretty decisively, decidedly English. It'd be no fun if things ended just yet. That's why we aren't giving up, and she's got more Pico, um, which is actually a fun competitive Pokemon for those who don't follow the scene. Uh, I'm going to Super Potion up. Just try and play it as safe as possible right now. Uh, I don't need to lose anybody on the team, especially now, um, right before Kabu, the third gym leader. So it's going to bite. Um, that does a good chunk, actually. Um, so that's got me a little worried um, in case of a crit. I feel like I have to go into the Flame Charge here. And it doesn't do a whole lot besides raise our speed. Um, so I got to hope for no crit here. Okay, no crit. Uh, and then I've got to heal up. Should bring us back to full HP. Indeed it does. They're going to use another bite. Uh, bring us back down to about health, half health. Um... I don't know what to do here. I guess I'm going to try the double kick. Uh, that is super effective. However, that's still not doing a lot. I got to get a crit. Indeed, I, d I don't know if that was a crit. I don't think it was, um, but it helped. Um, that w that got a little close, not going to lie. Um, so Aragog's going to level up and, and want to learn agility. Um, that just raises speed, right? Sharply raises it. Um... 
I'm going to get rid of Electro Ball because I don't foresee myself using that. Um, I honestly don't think I'm going to use Agility either, um, but I want to make sure that I have some sort of speed control. Uh, and we take down Marnie, got a little close, um, and hopefully that's not, uh, like, f foreseeing what happens this episode. I really don't want to lose uh, anybody this episode um, because I'm a little nervous as we go into the battle against Alistair, the fourth gym leader, um, which he has ghost types. Um, so that's going to be a pain for our team. However, um, in the case of Kabu, he is a fire type gym leader, and so having as many strong water types as we do uh, in Lamp, in Four Loco, I feel like we're pretty good. Um, so she's going to give us Kabu's League card. Um, not that we really care about League cards here in a Nuzlocke, or pretty much anything. She's going to give us Burn Heals, though, so that could be um, pretty effective uh, in case we do get a burn against potentially his Senta Scorch, um, or I believe he has a Karkul. Um, so it is the next day. We did get fully healed up. I'm feeling like we're a little under leveled. Um, but sometimes you just kind of have to full send it. Um, we do have some problem. I can't remember how the trainers go. Um, so th these guys are supporting me. They're saying go all out. And here is Hop. I really don't want to battle him. I don't want to. Slow moving, aren't you, Ryan? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. The man of fire, Kabu, is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. All right, so we are heading on into Moto Stoke Stadium, returning here after a while. Let's go ahead and get ready here for the gym challenge, changing into our gym uniform, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, you may find the Fire Gems mission a bit different than the others you have faced. In we go. So I believe this challenge involves either defeating or catching Pokemon. However, Referee Dan is waiting there in the middle for us. And that'll be it. Um, he will tell us the final ruling because, again, it's been a minute since I've played through these games. And I'm excited about it. Uh, however, we should be able to catch a new Pokemon and add them to our team from here. The gym mission for the fire gym is this, catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass and two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about your opponent, what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. So, I believe you can catch Pokemon like Sizzlipede, Litwick, and uh, there's definitely a Vulpix chilling right over there. So, I see a Litwick. I'm just going to kind of go straight for it um, because Litwick, uh, Lampet, and Chandelure are all incredible Pokemon that would be super, super good for us. Uh, moving on into the Fire type gym, uh, I'm going to Thunder Wave the Litwick. Uh, right off the rip and try and get the paralysis off. Indeed we do. So we connect. Uh, and then I need to catch this thing. Um, so Sizzlipede's going to smoke screen into me. Not a big deal lowering my own accuracy because I don't plan on attacking this thing. If anybody wants to attack it, it can. I don't know if I want a Dusk Ball. I'm going to Great Ball off the rip and I'm going to hope for the best. So we're going to get off the Great Ball and just kind of hope for the best here. Three shakes. There we go. Let's go. I was so concerned that this Sizzlipede was going to knock it out. Um, so that's going to be a little bit of XP for us here. Uh, we're going to add it to the Pokedex. Uh, do I want to give it a nickname? Indeed, I do. It is a male, so th this is going to be Lumiere. And where do I want to send it? Let's see what level it is. Actually, I can't. Um, so unfortunately, right now, I don't think Aragog's going to be useful. I think Lumiere is a safe switch in against a fire type since it already has um, that fire typing with it. Um, whereas the bug and electric typing of Aragog is not going to be the best. So I want to take a look at Lumiere here real quick. It is paralyzed. I can fix that. 
Um, so it is Flame Body. Uh, contact with Pokemon may burn the attacker. That is good. Um, moving forward. Um, it is a hardy nature, though, so that's kind of kind of a pain. Um, but Confused Ray Hex, Will-O-Wisp, Fire Spin. Not a bad move set at all. Um, I'm going to heal it up real quick. Get rid of that paralysis. Um, we have those burn heals, and then here at the bottom we have some feathers that we collected on our way. Quick little organization. Uh, and... We need to just continue here to collect points. So we're going to battle this um, Vulpix here. And unfortunately, I can't catch it. That is the problem. So I'm going to have to knock it out with Lamp and take this battle on against the Roly Coley. Um, but thankfully for us, we do have Bubble Beam, um, which will be super effective against Vulpix. I don't know if we connect with the Oko. We're same level as it, so we don't get that just yet. Um, Vulpix is going to Will-O-Wisp, uh, but thankfully Lamp, the ninja, just defuses it. Uh, and they actually, the opponent gets the KO, they get the crit, so that's not good for us. So we, I don't know, I don't think we lose points. Oh my word, is Challenger Ryan really going to the end, really going to end this thing with not? How many points did, can I go here and see how many points I have? Ryan, two points. There are three more points needed to clear the Fire-type gym mission. So, here's a Sizzlipede. That should be a pretty easy knockout, in my opinion. Um, so, we're going up against uh, the Salandit here. I am going to Bubble Beam and hope for the best. Salandit fake goes with the fake out into me. Um, so, that's not going to help either of us. And now, Lamp takes a big uh, bug bite to the face. I'm going to heal up in hopes that they attack, but don't knock out the uh, the Sizzlipede. They're going to sand attack. They're going to sand attack into me. That's what I expected. However, they take a big bite to the face. Uh, and as I continue to hit my bag button, uh, I want to bubble beam this Sizzlipede now. So they're going to sand attack into me again. It's kind of rude, since we're both trying to battle right now. Um, but Sizzlipede avoids the attack, gets off a bug bite into Lamp again. Uh, and I got to hope that I don't get doubled into by both of these Pokemon. They're going to sand attack, of course, into me again. Um, but we do connect with the Bubble Beam, so let's hope for an Oko. But we don't get that. Um, it's super effective. They're gonna, uh, It's going to bite into the Salandit. Um, rightfully so. I'm going to Bubble Beam and hope that I actually get it off. Um, they lower my accuracy again, so we're like minus four accuracy at this point. Uh, and we miss. So Sizzlipede's going to bite into Salandit. Finally, Salandit goes down. And I got to just knock this thing out and do my best. I'm going to Bubble Beam. I'm going to miss. It's going to Flame Wheel into me. Um, that doesn't do a lot, but it's enough to put me in bug bite range. So, and I can't lose lamp. So, I think my plane... I can't do that. I don't know. Flame wheel again. Um, so I'm going to try and get off the bubble beam. Um, and I'm gonna miss again. Bug bite. Connects. That is very tough. Uh, and at this point, I'm clicking the wrong menu. I got to go into Scorchungus and just finish it off. I am faster than it. Um, I don't have my accuracy lowered thanks to uh, Salandit. Um, but this has been quite the the challenge trying to, to get this off. So I'm going to tackle and hope that I can finish it off. And we are stronger. However, tackle's not the best move. No, that's not going to work. It's going to bug bite. Thankfully, this thing doesn't have flame body um, and did not burn Scorchungus. Um, we're going to get the other tackle off. And finally, the Sizzlipede goes down. And we're going to gain some XP here across the board. And that was a bit of a headache. Get one point. I think we need two more points. Um, so, I think... I feel like... 
the easier thing. And I don't want to take an easy way out. So maybe... I don't want to deal with these battles as much as I am. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go and see if there is another... There is another Vulpix. And I'm not going to attack it first. I think that is the play, actually. Um, because we know that this Roly Coley is slower than we are. So I'm going to Thunder Wave off the rip. It's going to incinerate. But Steam Engine does get activated, so that's not great for us, because now it could be faster than us. It's going to Rapid Spin into it, though. Uh, and that's a decent chunk. Gets the Thunder Wave off. Connects with it. Para uh, paralyzed. And now I gotta hope that we can do this. So it's gonna tackle into it. So they are faster, but that should not KO it. Out, uh, KO it. Maybe our Bumble Beam can crit and knock this thing out. And indeed it does. So we get more points. We get one more point, And then we are good to go. Um, we get three levels up, which are huge on Jamie, Ares, and Lamp. So what turned into a bit of frustration, we're actually going to have Ares evolving now, um, which is a little significant because when Evan did his Wulu lock, he obviously did not evolve Wulu into Dubwool, but in our case, we need our Pokemon as strong as possible, so we need Dubwool. We haven't been using Ares that much, however, now that it's double, maybe it could be useful. Now we just need one more point for victory. I want to see how how long does it take for that Vulpix to potentially respawn, because I think that is the easier course of action here, because I really don't want to deal with that Salandit again. Salandit, the bane of my existence, is down. Four Loco is going to level up. Big level up right before the final encounter that I need him for really right now. Congratulations on another mission cleared. Here we go. That was a bit too much of a headache. Clearing leader, Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. There we go. Gym mission cleared. A bit more of a headache than I would have liked. Um, but it is done nonetheless, so I don't know why I used a super potion there. It happens. I'm just dumb. Gonna heal the burn. And let's go battle Kabu. So here we are, finally venturing out into Kabu's gym, which has taken what feels like an eternity. But it's okay. So here we go. Kabu, I swear he has to be related to Blaine from Kanto. He's just... He feels like he could be Blaine's brother, or uncle, maybe not uncle, maybe cousin. I don't know. So, slowly walking out here. We're going to be walking slower, but he's just jogging on through, saying, you know what, I'm older, but I might be faster. So, welcome, I am Kabu, the Fire-type gym leader. The fact that you are here means that you've bested both Milo's Grass-type Pokemon and Nessa's Water-types, too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. And here we go. This is going to be a big test for some of our Pokemon that have just recently, or most recently, I guess I should say, joined the battle. So Lamp and Four Loco, hopefully going to carry us through to victory here. They're going to lead Ninetales. I got Lamp. And I think our play here is to Bubble Beam off the rip. And hope for that crit. They get the Will-O-Wisp off, off to start. That's okay. It's going to burn us. We're going to do a lot more damage than what a burn would do with this Bubble Beam. We do connect with it. Thank God. So it does about a third damage. We get inflicted with burn. And I'm going to Bubble Beam here. It's going to Quick Attack, actually. So that, I believe, that has to be a crit. Indeed it is. Nice job, Lamp. Um, however, we're still going to have to take it to three turns. 
We're going to bubble beam here. It's probably going to quick attack. Indeed, it does. Get us down to about 50% HP. The burn's going to inflict and get us in the yellow. But I can heal up as soon as we take on his next Pokemon, which I believe is an Arcanine. We're going to go and gain some XP there. That's huge. Lamp's going to get inflicted with the burn. And indeed, it is an Arcanine. Okay. Um, is it Intimidate, though? Indeed, it is. So, okay. There goes a minus one attack. Not what we want to see. I've got a Super Potion here. And then try and get off Thunder Wave. It's going to bite. Um, so that does a, a big chunk. I got to get off this Thunder Wave now. It's going to bite again. No crits. And we do connect with Thunder Wave. So that's a little bit of a cushion right now for us and for our team. Um, but it's not always guaranteed. Uh, this burn gets us down to 15 HP. So I do have to heal again. And we're just running through potions right now. Playing this as safe as possible. I cannot lose a Pokemon this this battle. We get the full pair of this turn. That's huge. Uh, I think the play now is a water or whirlpool. Because I need that residual damage. But it avoids the attack. And it uses agility to raise, raise its speed. Even though it was already faster. So maybe a turn wasted on, on Kabu's side. I need to go for this Whirlpool again. They're going to bite. No crits. No crit connects. Whirlpool does finally connect. So we're going to get the residual damage as well as the initial hit. Um, but I do have to heal this turn. In case they break through the paralysis. Because I cannot take another bite and burn damage. So there we go. We get the heal off. We get that HP restored. They do get the bite off, so I'm glad that I did heal. So that bite's doing about four, or the burn's doing about four damage, excuse me. Um, and Whirlpool slowly chipping away at it, but not doing as much as I would like it to. It, we do get the full pair this turn, so that helps us. And we connect with the Bubble Beam. May, might be enough to knock it out. I don't think it is with the Whirlpool damage. That's going to lower its speed. Not going to be a lot, though, because it did use agility a few turns ago. And we are going to have to hit it one more time. Uh, so actually, I can heal and let it faint to just the Whirlpool damage, which is big for us. However, it could bite. Yep. So in hindsight, maybe it was more beneficial to swap in that turn and be prepared for that Senta Scorch that we know that he is going to Gigantamax, which is a little scary. Uh, Scorchungus does get a level up, though, which is very tempting to bring that in here. Uh, just because I feel like it's got to have more bulk than anything else right now, and I've got to stall out these turns of Dynamax. Uh, and Lamp taking these burn moves is, is a lot right now, so... But Scorchungus, let me let me check your summary real quick. How, how much defense do you have? 50, 40 defense versus the the 28 defense on Lamp. So the play here absolutely is to swip, swap, swip, swip, swap into Scorchungus. English, I promise I speak it. And they're going to Gigantamax. So Kabu says... <laughs> Burn Bright sent to Scorch. Let Gigantamax change your size and your form. This is a little scary. Not going to lie. Uh, we're going to be staring down a Gigantamax Pokemon for the first time. And this could potentially easily take over. It is a good looking Pokemon, though. They're going to max Flutter by this first turn. And I got to hope for no no one hits. It does not. So that's going to be good. Um, they do drop our special attack, though. So I'm going to heal Scorchungus, just trying to stall out these turns as much as I can. Um, I think that's been the play for the last few gyms, is just stall out Dynamax as much as I can. G-Max, Sintiferno... 
does a big chunk, despite the fact that we are also a fire type. And we do get caught in the fire spin. So they only have one more turn of Gigantamax. I can heal up here, and I think we should be good. Um, the question is, I don't know if I want to go into... I think I have to heal Lamp. They're going to hit another Centiferno, which we should live. We do. Okay. Nice job, Scorchungus. Bring in the heat. All right. So now, just got to take things a little slow. Heal Scorchungus. And then I got to heal... I got to heal Lamp. They're going to Bug Bite. Does a, a little bit, but not a lot. We're going to take Chip Damage. And I'm going to Super Potion Lamp. And then we should be good to still hit our Dynamax. It's going to Smoke Screen. Um, so, a, a wasted turn, actually. Um, so, since they did that... Oh, that did a little bit more than I wanted it to. I'm going to Burn Heal on Lamp. This might come back to bite me. It's going to Bug Bite again. Does a little bit more chunk than what I thought it would. And I'm we're freed from the Fire Spin. So we're clear from that. We're going to Swamp here into Lamp. And what is it going to be another Bug Bite? Smoke Screen. So that, that lowers our accuracy. However, it's big boy time. So we are going to throw a Max Geyser right in its face. Dynamax Lamp going absolutely huge for us here. I just got to hope for no crits on a, to us. I would love to crit it. That'd be great. We got full health. Um, however, it is stronger than us. It's going to coil. Raise its accuracy, I believe. It's going to raise its attack, its defense, and its accuracy. We're going to get off the geyser. How much will this do? It does about a third. A little bit more than that. We are going to set up the rain, though, so that's going to help us in the next turn. It's going to bug bite. And that does a big chunk. I got to hope for a big crit here. We are boosted by rain, though. Lamp. The absolute beast. We kind of stalled it out. We had to play it a little cheeky. However, we get levels up on Lumiere, Ares, and Lamp. And there we go. That got a little scary, not going to lie. Uh, I was a little bit more worried about it than what I feel like I... I should have been or maybe I was a little less carefree than what I thought I was however drown in the rain Kabu because we just took you down a great Pokemon and a great trainer it's no surprise that you won give me that four thousand dollars give me that badge I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge and yet you defeated me I mean Kabu is a great gym leader and a great third gym leader, if that. Clearly, your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I know that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team, and I'm glad that I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof you've defeated me. All right, so we survived that without any KOs, without any losses on our team. There is the fire badge. We are... There, there we go. That is that is a huge relief. You can now catch Pokemon up to 35. Thanks to Dynamax, thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become a part of the Gala region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keep, keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. We adults will be pillars for you to build on. He's a boomer. He's absolutely a boomer. And here's Hop. He says, Ryan, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Chin Chow, you mean Lamp, would be the ones. But still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. I mean, I was on the edge of my seat too, but. And here comes Dan, the gym leader. He says, Challenger Ryan, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from grass, water, and fire gyms. 
Take this TM to commemorate what you've accomplished here today. And there's Will-O-Wisp. Too bad the one Pokemon I want to teach it already learns it. Or already has it. Lumiere. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. There's the fire uniform. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the Galar gems that await you. Starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area surrounding the city and then make your way to Hammerlock. With all the gym badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we could, should, be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. So that was quite the action-packed episode. Plenty of close calls. Ooh, that one was exhausting. So when we get back tomorrow, we are going to be deep diving into the wild area. Buff, buffing, beefing, beefing up our roster of Pokemon. And really, it, it, it's only up from here. We got Lamp. Lamp was an absolute beast. Ares evolved this episode. We caught Lumiere. We beat, uh, we beat not only Kabu, but we also beat Marnie. Uh, and we've only suffered the loss of our dear boy Slump. So I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit that notification bell for every time that I upload. And next time, see you then.